Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we are solving X Sudoku by Philip Newman. This puzzle is from August 1st, 2024, and that means something kind of fun. Every year in August for gas, we um we do a month-long guessing game where you're given the opportunity to guess the variant of Sudoku that we're going to set the following day and publish. And if you guess it correctly, you get a bonus party hat. There's always some kind of pattern or some kind of hint or indicator as to what the next day's variant will be. It's not random. Um, often it takes a couple of days for the pattern to become obvious, so don't worry if you feel like you have nothing to base a guess on now. But feel free, if you'd like, in the comments of this video to guess what you think tomorrow's variant will be. Um, and as the month goes along, you will find out if you're correct. So let's have a look at this puzzle. So this is a Sudoku X, also known as Diagonal Sudoku. The rules are these, um, standard Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then also along each of these marked blue diagonals, we also have the digits 1 through 9 exactly once each. So I'm going to start with a little bit of just ordinary classic Sudoku. I have two ones here, they see these cells, so one in this region has to go here. Now I have two sevens here that see these cells, so seven in this region is going to go here. I have these two ones here, so one in this region goes in one of these cells. I have these two eights here, so eight in this region goes in one of these cells. I have 7 and 8 in both of these regions already, and I need a 7 and an 8 along the diagonal, so they're going to have to go in these cells. Now, 7 definitely goes in one of those, don't know which one for sure yet. These cells are going to contain 2, 3, 4, and 5, those can't be 2, those can't be 5, those can't be 4. Uh, that's not quite enough to give me anything just yet. Here I have 5, 7, 8, and 9. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 to finish off the column. So this will be 2, 3, or 4. This will be 1, 4, or 6. This will be 3, 4, or 6, etc. So that's not quite giving me anything to work with yet. Okay, so now I've got something that we can use. So I have an 8 here that sees these cells, so it eliminates 8 from them, so we're going to place an 8 there. That makes this a 7-8 pair on the diagonal, which is potentially useful. This is also now a 1-2 pair here. Okay, 7 and 8 can't be on these diagonal cells, and they also can't be here because they're already in the region, so they have to be in these three cells to go on the negative diagonal. 7 can't be in these two cells by Sudoku, so it goes here, and then 8 can't be in this cell, so it goes here. That places a 7 here, and also places an 8 in this cell. These digits will be 4 and 5 to finish the region. 4 goes there, 5 goes there. That cannot be a 4. These are going to be 3, 6, and 9. These will be 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's not a 2, that's not a 3, that's not a 2 or a 4. Okay, now what do we need to do next? So we have that 7-8 pair. Ah, oh, we can't have another 1 along this diagonal because there's already a 1 here, so 1 goes here in this region. And now 1 is going to go in one of these cells in this region. So in order to put a 1 on the negative diagonal, it can only go in these three cells. This one is already seen by a 1, so 1 is going to go in one or the other of these. Okay. Now... What have we got next? These cells are 4, 5, 6, and 9. That's not a 6, that's not a 9, and that's also not a 6. So 6 is going to go in one of those cells, eliminating 6 from here, and 6 goes in one of these cells. These are going to be 3, 5, 6, and 9. That's not 5, that's not 6. This can't be a 4 because there's a 4 in the column already. These are going to be 2, 3, 6, and 9 across the row. That's not a 2 or a 6, that's not a 9. And let's see now, can we do anything with these diagonals at this point? 
Not that I see. That's not going to be a 9. That's going to be 2, 3, 6, and 9. That's not a 9. That's not a 6. Okay. I have 3, 4, 5, and 9 horizontally here. Probably the easier way to see this, though, is just to ask yourself where does 7 go in row 8, and it can only go there. And then finally, where does 1 go in row 8, and it has to go right there. Now there's only one position for 4 in that row, which is here, and that makes this a 5. 4 is going to eliminate a 4 from this cell, so 4 is now in one of these two positions. This can't be a 3 because of the 2, 3 pair here. And I need to place a 2 in this region, it's going to go in one of those cells. Those are going to be 2, 3, 4, and 6 vertically. That's not 2 or 3, so that is 4 or 6. These cells I need 2, 4, 5, and 9. That's not a 9, and that's not a 5. Okay, what are we going to do next? This is a little bit of a tricky one. That can't be a 5, because there's a 5 in the column, so that makes this a 6, and that's not a 6, therefore. So that places a 7 in column 2, that's now an 8, and that's a 7. Now I see that column 6 is getting a bit restricted. That's going to be 1, 3, and 9. This cell can't be a 1 or 9, so that will be a 3, which will resolve this 6, this 9, and this 1. The 9 gives us a 3 here, and we can eliminate 3 from the rest of the diagonal. That can't be a 6, because there's a 6 in the row. That can only be a 4. And we can eliminate 5 from the rest of the diagonal. My last digit here will be an 8. And that's not a 2. Okay, vertically here we can eliminate 5s, and that 4, 9 pair vertically gives us a 2 there. And this can't be a 3, that also can't be a 3, because there's a 3 in the column now, so that's going to now be a 5. There's only one position, oh, there's not just one position, there are a couple positions left for 4 along this diagonal, I spoke too soon. How about these cells in row 4? So we need 1, 2, 5, and 6. That's not a 2 or a 5. That's not a 2 or a 3. So that's a 6 and that's a 1. And that's now a 2 and a 3. The 9 along this diagonal makes this a 4, 6, 9, and 4. And that allows us to resolve these cells, 6, 9, 3, and 4. In row 1, this must be a 3. That's a 9. That's a 5. That's not a 1 or a 5. This must be a naked 2 at this point. And I believe that at this point we can finish off using classic Sudoku. And that's how you solve X Sudoku by Philip Newman. If you have a guess for what we're going to be solving tomorrow, go ahead and let us know what that is in the comments. And if you want to solve the puzzle yourself, um, the link to solve it is in the description of this video. Enjoy!